Hey, what's up guys? Josh from Trillbuild, and when it comes down to it, we all have our own particular preference and style when it comes to the type of off-roading that we do. Some of us upped our four-wheel drive truck just to use it to get to some really remote spots to go hunting and fishing or camping. Some of us build our rigs to be capable rock crawlers. Some of us build our rigs to go extremely fast in the desert or even to tackle huge steep hills that are covered in loose dirt, rocks, or sand. And some of us even build our rigs to have massive amounts of horsepower to go play in the mud. Whichever your particular preference is, we all love to get off the beaten path and play with our big boy trucks. And in today's video, we break down the five types of builds that we use for going off road. So make sure and smash that subscribe button so that way you guys can hold on to the ride with us. Ready? Let's go. Also, if you guys didn't already know, RBP 50R beadlock wheels are 10% off right now. And when you package a set of them with a set of tires on our website, trailbuiltoffroad.com, we not only mount and balance them for you for free, but if you live in the lower 48, we also ship them to you for free as well. And that is a heck of a deal. So make sure and check out our website, check out RBP beadlocks. Before we get into the different types of builds, keep in mind that all of these builds are a generalization of all of the different types of builds that we have out there. We all know that there are a thousand of unique different styles to each person's build and not one is usually identical to another one's build. Well, like our personalities. If we all had the same personalities, this world would be a boring place. Starting off with one that technically really isn't a build per se, but still makes a list because it's used for off-road purposes, and that is number one, the stock class. And when I say stock, these rigs have their original factory suspension size and factory tire and wheel sizes, albeit they may have gone to our website and ordered a set of Toyo AT3 all-terrains, or maybe some BFG KO2s for some extra traction, plus maybe some Falcon shocks to dampen the ride. But other than that, they are mainly stock rigs. This group loves getting outdoors and may be highly active in hunting, fishing, and camping and the occasional off-road trip, or their work may even require them to go off-road when they need a four-wheel drive vehicle. They enjoy the challenge of putting their stock rigs through the paces and showing the rest of us that you don't need a modified rig to get over most obstacles on the trail. The stock class uses factory tow points for recovery or may have provisions for a winch or may even have it recessed behind the factory front bumper. In most cases, they'll also use their rig as their main mode of transportation. Either way, the stock class also makes the list because this is where a majority of us started. And there is another class that we're gonna add in here with the stock class, and it is a growing segment of the off-road industry, but isn't quite a true body on frame off-road rig, and also really doesn't fit into the next type of build, but is still four wheel drive or all wheel drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and categorize it here under stock. And this type of build is known as what is referred to in the off-road industry as a soft rotor. A soft rotor is a unibody vehicle with upgraded wheels and tires and sometimes a lift. This type of class is built by the off-road enthusiast who also enjoys the adventure of getting off-road and exploring. They don't mind a little bit of off-road challenges and obstacles here and there, but in most cases will avoid the more difficult and extreme terrain as they are similar to the stock class where they still use their soft rotor for a daily driver. An example would be like our friends, Fuller's 328 diesel BMW sedan, who had recently just installed a two inch lift in his BMW and slapped on a set of centerline wheels wrapped with a 225-55-18 Toyo AT3 all-terrain so that he can hit the northern dirt trails of Wisconsin. The soft rotor class are adventurous and off-road enthusiasts without the need to run a more modified rig. Which brings us to our next build on the list. These are four wheel drive rigs built to be suited for overlanding or car camping as some like to refer to it as. This is the overlanding build class and are often Toyota Tacomas, Forerunners, Land Cruisers, Jeep Wranglers, or often full size pickup trucks as well, or even in some cases, custom built four wheel drive motorhomes. This overlanding class consists of vehicles that mainly have some sort of mild suspension lift from Icon Vehicle Dynamics or Terraflex, Falcon, Ready Lift, JKS, or many more that we have on our website and we'll either have a leveling kit, maybe a two inch kit or a three inch suspension lift and is designed to carry heavier loads, but rarely is this overland build lifted more than a few inches to keep the vehicle more stable, both on the trail and on road. They're designed to have a stable lower center of gravity as overlanders would tend to use their rigs as daily drivers or for traveling the countryside or even the world for that matter and need their vehicle to be stable and responsive at highway speeds as well. Plus, 
in most circumstances, overlanders won't purposely drive their rigs into places that have extreme obstacles and underbody ground clearance doesn't need to be as much as, let's say, a rock crawler, for example. Most overland builds will also get upfitted with aftermarket recovery bumpers, winches, underbody armor, skid plates to help minimize damage should they find themselves having to traverse over those technical areas. In many cases, these builds will have an upgraded aftermarket wheel so that it is stronger and designed to hold up to more abuse, like the Method 701 series that also features beadlock grip technology to keep the beads seated on the wheel while aired down. These wheels are also wrapped with a taller, more aggressive tire like the Toyo AT3 or BFG KO2 or maybe even a Falcon Wild Peak AT3 all-terrain, which, by the way, we are doing a review on next week, so make sure and stay tuned to our channel for that review. These tires usually aren't much taller than 35 inch tires and not only withstand the torture of off-roading, but also offer great performance for both on-road and off-road traction. These overland builds will also have some sort of selectable rear traction modifier installed in the rear axle like an air locker or electric locker if not already equipped from the factory. Speaking of air, being that most of these overland builds find themselves in remote locations and unable to readily find fuel stations or auto shops with air compressors, most will upfit their rigs with an onboard air to inflate their tires after leaving the trail or even run air tools on the trail if needed. Along with provisions for air, there is usually some sort of a thigh. <laughs> Along with provisions for air, there is usually some sort of upgraded electrical system as most of these rigs will have an onboard refrigerator, auxiliary lights, power converters for the coffee maker or other electrical appliances that the factory electrical system just wouldn't be able to handle the power for. So with all of that said, I believe I covered most everything from what classifies an overland build, but if I miss anything, make sure and let us know in the comments below. All right, so moving on to the fourth build on the list, we have what we like to refer to as the hobbyist build. These rigs are built to be highly functional off-road, but still able to run down the highway at 70, 80 miles an hour if needed to. This is a group of weekend warriors that use their rigs from anything like going to the beach all the way to hitting the off-road park and doing some rock crawling. The suspension is built to flex and articulate out on the trails yet maintain suitable highway handling performance and also fit anywhere from a 35 inch and taller up to about a 40 inch tire or so. These rigs are your modified Jeep Wranglers, the JKs, JLs, the Unlimited, CJs, YJs, etc. and also your Toyotas, both new and retro, old International Scouts, Broncos, and a variety of other similar rigs. This hobbyist class will have aftermarket recovery bumpers, winches, rock slider, skid plates, and many other upgraded functional components like armor, heavy duty drivetrain components, RCV axle shafts, transfer case upgrades, lower gearing in the differentials, larger U-joints, and the list goes on and on. These rigs are built to be versatile enough to drive around town on a Friday night, go off-roading on a Saturday, and head to the mall on a Sunday. Then one step up from the hobbyist build is what I like to refer to as the fully modified build. These guys typically build and fabricate their own rigs and trailer them to the trail. They are purists of the off-road sport and have rigs that are built to the hilt and extremely capable in all types of off-road terrain. They are built with full roll cages, one-ton axles that are geared down and locked both front and rear, larger chromoly axle shafts, three or four speed transfer cases, typically V8 engines that are fuel injected and probably modified, and the list goes on. We all know and have seen these guys off-roading and know them as a bit crazy but hella fun to watch and the rigs can really take a beating. Then we have one of my favorites and that is the all out balls to the walls, fully gasoline and adrenaline field off-road junkies that are in what I like to call the super modified class. These guys need no introduction as we are all familiar with their builds and they are fully fabricated from DOM tube, race tire compounds like the stickies, fully forged beadlock wheels like Raceline Monsters or Methods 100 series, crazy horsepower with a built drivetrain to match and the list goes on and on. These are the Ultra 4 racers, the competition rock bouncer buggies, the thousand horsepower plus mud boggers, desert dune sand rails, trophy desert truck racers, monster jam monster truck and various other crazy crazy off-road build to go fast with a lunatic driver who are on a whole nother level and that's why they are my favorites. 
All right, guys, well, those are the five basic types of off-road builds. And just out of curiosity, make sure and let us know which type of build you guys have or which type of class you fit in. Or even let us know if there's another type of build that we didn't cover in today's video by letting us know in the comments below. You can also add your rig to our growing off-road vehicle fitment gallery and show off the type of build that you have by going to our website, trailbuiltoffroad.com and clicking the gallery option on the menu bar and following the prompts from there. Other than that, guys, we hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember to smash that subscribe button, thumbs up to like the video, and as always, we appreciate all of you for watching. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys back again shortly.